Okay, if you're interested in choosing a specification limit for a microbiological criterion, there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. Number one, you can use historical data, and that historical data uh, tells you what you're able to achieve with your product and your process. So an expert like me would have great difficulty telling you uh, what specification uh, would be appropriate for your product and process. The second thing you can do is uh, consider what your customers are expecting for spec limits on your products.